Hey there, Moore here, and thank you for joining me on my channel today. Right now, we're going to get into a champion guidance spotlight for a Void Affinity epic champion named Cardinal. She is from the Sacred Order. She's an amazing support champion, and she's arguably the best reviver in the game. <laughs> So Cardinal, why do I think she is arguably the best reviver in the game? We're going to find out in just a minute. We're going to dive into her kit. I'm going to take her into Fire Knight 20, show you some gameplay for her, and show her in action for you. Then we'll jump into the build of Goddorim, the stats I think you need to focus on for her, and we'll follow it up and wrap it up with the masteries that I'm going to take her into because right now she's not mastered yet. I will scroll her out, but she's not there just yet. So her kit... Her A1 attacks one enemy, has a 10% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for two turns. One hit A1, a book it out for a 20% chance to land a poison, one poison. Okay, I got it. Let me let you know right now, you are not going to use your cardinal for poisons. She's not a poisoner. That is not her primary purpose. That poison right there, it's a wasted ability, a wasted quality for her. If she had a turn meter or a decreased speed, oh, she would be a legendary in 7 epic. Her A2 heals a target ally by 30% of their max HP, places a 60% increased debuff for 2 turns. If they book it up to down to a 3 turn cooldown with an extra 10% to that heal, then becomes a 33% heal of their max HP. The only thing I don't like about this skill is it's their max HP. I really do not like that. I prefer the heals to be based off of this champion, the one casting it off of one of their stats, whether it be HP or attack or defense or something. That way you can control it. It's more consistent. However, it's not too shabby. It's a decent little heal. It's a nice spot heal to help get somebody through in a pinch. But the revive, her A3, that is the skill you use her for. It's on a seven turn cooldown to begin with. Book it down to a five turn cooldown. Not too bad. Revives all. I say that again, revives all dead allies, then heals them by 25% of their max HP, and then boosts their turn meter to max. Revives all dead allies, and then lets them take a turn right now. Puts them in front of anybody else on deck from the enemy team. Puts them in front of anybody else on your team. They get to take a turn right now. It is absolutely amazing. It is a beast of a skill. It is the best revive in the game, especially since it comes from an epic champion, easier to book than those legendaries, and much more powerful than any rare revive you are going to find in this game. All right, let's go take her to some gameplay. We're going to go into Fire Knight 20 right now to show you just really what she can do for your team. A little bit of the mechanics so you can show off just what she's doing, what it looks like for you today. Re Cardinal just did it. She just did a revive already. Allure is a squishy little. She's squishy in this game, in this competition, uh, in this composition right now. As you can see, Allure just went down again. Tabriel may even go down because he is a little squishy as well, especially coming against the off affinity champions that he is facing right now. So you can see my Allure here. She's got a revive. She's got her heal. Remember that she's got her A one with a poison capability, a kind of poison capability, right? Like I said, remember, you're not going to use her for her actual poison capability. But even though she just did a 13,000 crit hit, she's got some multipliers on her that are impressive. She can do some decent damage, especially if you build her a little bit. You don't even have to build her hard for damage, right? Mine is not built for damage. There's that revive. Instantaneously let Allure go. Allure just got a kill, oddly enough. However, Allure's primary reason for being in this content, being in this team right now, is her A1 that has a decreased turn meter on every single critical hit, right? We're going to revive her again. Let's see. I think Allure, Cardinal should be back up on that revive by now. Nope. I was short by a turn, I think. All right. Should we just one more cycle? We can show her another revive. She's just a beast. She's going to keep reviving this Allure over and over again. Looking at what's left, there's that revive. It might. There it is. She's down one last time. At this point in the rest of this round, 
Cardinal should bring her up one more time when she cycles back to her revive, and then Lure should not go down again this round. But Cardinal, she's a beast. She's beefy. She can take a hit or two. I've got mine built out for endurance so she can survive, because if she can survive, she can revive. If your revivers die, they cannot revive. So your revivers need to be built tough and with durability and endurance on them. Okay, we're at the Fire Knight now. Carnal still has not revived a lure again. Let's ha see how long it takes for her to come up. Because it looks like Fire Knight's going to actually probably take a hit, a swing at us here. Unless Seeker could pull it off the, the Incredible. Did he? No. Unfortunately, Carnal has another turn or two before her revive comes up. That's fine. Here we go. We took the hit. We took the swing. Thankfully, Terry Terrell put a decrease attack up. I like it. All right. There it is. Unfortunately, we still had five hits left instead of only two hits. Laura can come back around. Here we go. Seeker. Seeker's a beast with that terminator manipulation. Look at that. Saving the get day right now. Bring that Allure back around to her turn again. Let's see that A1. There we go. Terminator down. And next thing you know, this Fire Knight is done for. He should not get another turn. My team's going to take it out. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up right now so we can cycle through to the end and you can see just what I've got my Cardinal built in. Let's go. All right. All done set with, finally, right? Six and a half minutes for this run. Best time's only five minutes. I do not do this the absolute fastest on the stage 20. However, it is 100% consistent and I am free to play, so I will take it where I can get it. Cardinal. 170,000 damage. She is not there for damage. Remember, she is there to keep a lure alive. To keep a lure coming right back up because a lure is so darn squishy. It is crazy hard and expensive to keep a lure alive in the first place. She can't take a hit, but Cardinal can. And let's find out why. So you can see right now, I've got Cardinal in actually two different resilient sets and a speed set. And she's even missing an accessory. Look at that. She is missing an accessory and she can actually still take a hit. Yes, I'm going to admit, even though I'm free to play, I've got some decent gear out there. I've got all six level 16s. Five of those top ones are six star. One is a five star. Some legendaries, some epics, some rares. I got it. But remember, I am also free to play. So if I can do it, so can you. If I can do it, you can too. If I can pull Cardinal, you can too. If I can gear like this, you can too. Let's check out our total stats real quick, and I'll show you just some of the gear actual piece I've got. She got 40,000 HP. She's only got 1,900 attack. Doesn't have a crazy lot of attack, but she can still hit. She's got 4,000 defense, and she's got 60% crit rate, but she's got 179 speed. She can move a little bit. She's not the guy at the craziest speed. Seeker, right here by the face, he's got like 212 speed. He goes faster, but his job is speed. Speed, terminal manipulation. Cardinal's job is to stay alive. Cardinal's job is to have the endurance to stay alive so that she can land and do that revive, right? So she's got that 4,000 defense and 40,000 HP. The gear I've got her in, I got her in defense percent gloves. I've got her in defense percent chest. And I've got her in speed boots with a defense percent substat. Let's check out the accessories real quick. I got a defense banner and I've got an HP ring. I wanted endurance on her, right? I want her to take a hit. As you can see, I've got HP and defense stacked and you should too. If you're going to focus on your cardinal, if you're going to work your cardinal, you need to focus on having her be able to take a hit. The ratio I've got her at right now, so for every 10,000 HP, you have 1,000 defense, is a prime good number and ratio to go for. You want to have that 10% ratio difference to keep her going. It's a good amount of HP, so she doesn't necessarily get focused on in the content if you take her to dungeon. Because remember, the champions with the lowest amount of HP will get focused by the AI of the enemy champions for the enemy waves. You don't want her to get focused. You want to maintain that ratio of 10,000 to 1,000. 10,000 HP to 1,000 defense. Maintain that gap, that 10% ratio right there. She will sustain you and she will survive through the content you take her into. 
as well as speed. You need to focus on her speed as well. She needs to be able to cycle through her turns so that she can get back to her revive, right? Five turn minimum, unless you have her scrolled out and you have the chance to be able to cycle down that cycle of magic and mastery and decrease the turn, sorry, decrease the cooldown of a random skill, right? Otherwise, she needs to cycle through her turns. She needs to get her cooldowns off a of cooldown, right? I have mine in 179 speed. She has 104 base speed to begin with. As you can see, I've only got her in five star boots. If I can get her in six star boots, get up to 180, was that 184? I would be happy with that. 170 is a good, decent speed to have her at. 179 is where mine is at. 200 is where you need to shoot for. Mine's a little slow. Ideally, I would have it up a little bit higher. However, I'm happy with where mine's at right so what should you do with your masteries, right? So as you can see, my masteries are emptied out. I haven't done anything with my masteries yet. And she is still already rocking my content. She's still already progressing my account through my content, through Fire Knight 20, through Faction Wars right now with zero scrolls. I can only imagine how well she's going to do with scrolls. I'm going to build her on the offensive side. I'm going to take her down the left side there all the way down to War Master. Come on, War Master. Open up. I'm going to go down War Master. I want to have a little more potency on her attack so she puts out a little more damage on the bosses. And I'm going to take her down the left side so that she can actually put out a little more damage. I'm also going to grab this Wrath of the Slain. Increases her damage with dead allies. Remember, she's a reviver. I'm going to pair her with champions that are squishy. So she's going to be with champions that are going to die. I want to take advantage of that. And additionally, I'm going to go down the support side tree get her some boost to her actual healing capability. I'm going to give her Cycle of Magic because I want to be able to have a chance to cycle off that revive buff, sorry, that revive skill, as well as I want to give her the Speed of the Haste. Increases her speed when dead allies are around. Take advantage and double down on the fact that she is going to be with dead allies. So I'm going to already know it's going to happen so I want to double down on that possibility so I can increase her speed and cycle back through so I can revive them back up. Cardinal is an amazing champion. She's the best reviver in the game. If you have her, use her. Thank you for joining me through the video all the way through. I greatly appreciate your support. If you got value from this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Share this video with a friend. Get the word about Cardinal out into the community. And I'll see you on the next video.